in a recent survey of drinking laws, a random sample of 1,000 women showed that 65% were in favor of increasing the legal drinking age. In a random sample of 1,000 men, 60% favored increasing of the legal drinking age. Test the hypothesis that the percentage of men and women favoring a higher linking legal drinking age is the same. Use alpha 0.05 significance level. We'll start from the null and alternative hypothesis. As usual, null hypothesis is always the same P1 equal P2 whenever you compare proportions from the two different samples. Now, alternative hypothesis. We have keyword here. You have to verify that percentages are the same. So again, we have the case whenever our original claim coincides with the null hypothesis. In this case, you have to pick up weakest inequality sign in alternative hypothesis, which is not equal. Then you have N1 equals 1000 and X1 is 65% of this thousand. So 0 0.65 times thousand gives you 650. Then you have second sample, men's 1000 people, and x2 will be, will be 0 0.6 times sample size 1600. After that, you have to grab your calculator. You will click stat button, go to the tests, and pick up six option to prop the test. You will put your 650 as X1, 1000 as N1, 600 as X2, and 1000 as N2. Then you will have to highlight not equal sign. It's already highlighted in my case. I don't have to do anything. Then you have to go to the draw and click enter. You see two tails on the picture which corresponds to the inequality sign in alternative hypothesis. You have from the left test statistics 2.3094 and from the right you have p-value 0.0209. Then you have to compare p-value with your alpha. In our case alpha is 5%. Clearly p-value is less than alpha so you have to make a decision to reject null hypothesis. If you reject null hypothesis, you indirectly support alternative hypothesis. And you see that indeed, we have the case that the percentage are different for the men and women.